فاشرف بي لاشتغال بالعلم ولا تبغي به ما عشت يا ذا بدلا ويا له من شرف عظيم زنون ثوبا ابن ابراهيم الاخميني may Allah have mercy on him once said there are three signs of sincerity the one sees praise and blame from people as equal that one sees not his good deeds even as he performs them and that one looks forward to and considers the rewards of his deeds on the day of resurrection there are three things which you can say that these are the signs of sincerity alamatul ikhlas that this person is sincere the first one is istiwa'ul madhi wa dhammi min al-'amma that the people's criticism and that the people's praise is to you the same that's a sign of sincerity and this and this is very hard to attain, to be honest. That the people's praise and their criticism becomes the same for you. The second he said is, when isyanu ru'yati al-a'mali fil a'mali. Is that you really don't see your righteous deeds. You forget them. Somebody will meet you and say, Akhi, do you remember me? Well, what is it? Are you, I was the person you one time helped and you did this for and you're like, oh, I don't remember. And there are another group of people, when they help people, they make that person feel like, why on earth did I meet this person? Sah? Allah said in the Quran, وَلَا تُبْطِلُوا صَدَقَاتِكُمْ بِالْمَنِّ وَالْأَدَىٰ كَالَّذِي يُنْفِقُ مَا لَهُ رِيَعَ الْنَاسِ There's a one, يُبْطِلُوا He destroys his sadaqah بِالْمَنِّ وَالْأَدَىٰ All day he will tell you the favor he did for you. Remember me? You can't forget me, can you, brother? Because I'm the one who did this for you. He meets you another day, he's like, guess who's calling you, brother? All day you feel like, why on earth did I meet this person? I wish I never knew who he was. He will text you it. He will say, save my number. And right next to it, the brother who helped you. He wants every moment and chance he gets, he wants to sip it through, throw in that he was the one who favored you. And he calls you harm because of that. Bilmani wal adha, adha he calls you. Another person doesn't remember what they do for people. Because the reason is because they are not really concerned with their righteous deed. Walidhanik wa did Sa'di say, Yatakarabuna ila al Maliki bi ta'atihim. Yatakarabuna ila al Maliki. They get close to their Lord. Ah no, fi'lul fara'idi wa nawa filu fi'lul fara'idi. وَالنَّوَافِلُ دَعْبُهُمْ مَعَ رُؤْيَةِ التَّقْصِيرِ وَالنُّقْصَانِ فِعْلُ الْفَرَائِضِ وَالنَّوَافِلِ دَعْبُهُمْ Doing the obligatory things and staying away from the prohibited things is from their norms, that's what they do all day, every day. مَعَ رُؤْيَةِ التَّقْصِيرِ وَالنُّقْصَانِ Even then they see themselves to be deficient. They don't see themselves up to standard. So they really don't seek importance, they forget their righteous deeds. And the third one is اِخْتِضَاءُ ثَوَابِ الْآخِرَةِ فِي الْآخِرَةِ They like to get the reward of their righteous deeds the Day of Judgment. They don't want it in this world. They don't do things so they can get rewarded now. They don't want to reap the fruits right now. All of them, all it is for them is آخِرَةِ 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 نعم ibn may Allah be pleased with him, said to leave an action for the sake of people, their praise, is to show off and to undertake an action for the sake of people is shirk to associate partners with Allah and sincerity is when Allah cures, cures you of both these Well, I powerful تَرْكُ الْعَمَلِ لِأَجْلِ النَّاسِ رِيَاءٌ if you leave an action because of the people, you're like, if I do, the people can criticize me. If I do, the people won't like this. If I do this, the people, the people, the people, for them, Ayah says, تَرْكُ الْعَمَلِ لِأَجْلِ النَّاسِ رِيَاءٌ Leaving an action for the people's sake is showing off. Yeah, showing off. Why is it? Why does it matter to you what the people think? Why are you so concerned with what the people are going to say? The people don't like this. The people won't like this. The people are not ready for this. The people, the people, the people, the people. The riyah, showing off. Second one is, Doing something for the people is shirk. When you actually initiate a righteous deed and you were not planning to do it, 
you do it for the people. That's what? It's shirk. وَالْإِخْلَاصُ أَنْ يُعَافِيَكَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى مِنْهُمَا Ikhlas means when Allah saves you and kills you from both of those two. Doing something for the people and leaving off something for the people. When Allah kills you from those two is when you're sincere. It's sincerity. So this idea, this notion that you see prevalent amongst the Muslim community today, which is, I know it's good, I know it's a righteous deed, I just don't want the people to critique me. I just don't want the people to say something about me. It's a sickness, it's an illness of the heart. And the second one is Al nasi doing something for the people is another, it's another illness. And sincerity is that Allah cures you from the two. Naam. Sahal at Tustari, may Allah have mercy on him once said, Those of knowledge and vision have looked into the meaning of sincerity and found that it is nothing but the following that both a man's movement and his motionless meaning everything he does and doesn't do whether they be seen or unseen by others are for the sake of Allah alone neither the desires of the self nor one's whims nor worldly desires must be allowed to mix with his purity of intention so the author here rahimahullah he brings the statement of who Sahal ibn Abdullah Tustari. Sahal ibn Abdullah Tustari comes from a land called Tustar. He comes from a land called what? Tustar. Tustar is a very famous city. Sahal ibn Abdullah Tustari is from the Zuhad again. It's from the aesthetic people. It's from the Zuhad. Very aesthetic. He, Rahimullah, once said, when he defined Ikhlas, he said, Nadar al Akiyasu. The smart ones, they looked in the definition and the meaning of sincerity. This is the only thing that they could see what sincerity meant, which is أن تكون حركة وسكونه في سره وعلانية لله تعالى وحده. They found when they looked at the definition of sincerity that the real meaning that it revolves around is your movements, your motionless when your movements, and when you're still. When it's private and when it's public, all of it's for Allah's sake. You're not doing it for anyone else. So when you're doing something, you're doing it for his sake. When you're not doing anything, you're doing it for his sake. When you're private and no one can see you, you're doing it for him. Whatever you're doing privately. And in public, when you're doing something, you're doing it for him. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. All of those are what? Sincerity. لا يمازجه شيء. He doesn't mix it with anything else. لا نفس ولا هوا ولا دنيا. He doesn't mix it with his nafs, his desires. He doesn't mix it up with his inclination. Nor does he even mix it with the worldly game. None of that. Now. Al-Sari, may Allah have mercy. As-Sari. As-Sari, may Allah have mercy on him once said. Do not do anything for the sake of people. And do not forsake anything for their sake. And do not hide anything. Meaning hide any of your actions for their sake. And do not disclose anything, meaning disclose any of your actions for their sake. <coughs> for the sake of people, means with the hope of being praised or thanked by them. Instead, one's intention in all these actions should be the pleasure of Allah. The author here says, sirri, sirri said, لا تعمل للناس شيئا. Don't do anything for the people. ولا تترك لهم شيئا. And because of the people, don't leave something. Don't leave something because of the people. ولا تعطي لهم شيئا and don't because of the people don't give something ولا تكشف لهم شيئا and not because of the people don't unveil something all of it be for Allah's sake whatever you do whether you withhold whether you go forward and you do something whether it's private whether it's public it does not matter all of it is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Al-Ghashiri states the lowest degree of sincerity is when what one conceals corresponds to what he reveals. The, la, the minimum level of sincerity, aqal, is istiwa sirri wal alaniya. Hudayfat al Marashi said this before. Is when they are leveled, they are the same, they're equal, they're proportional. Your private and your public affairs are both the same. You are what you are in private, what you are in public. You don't have. Um, a different 
thing behind closed doors. You are a student of knowledge behind closed doors. You're seeking knowledge behind closed doors. You're studying, you're learning, you're seek, you're praying, you're fasting, your ta'at, obedience that you're doing behind closed doors. And publicly, you're also doing the same. So you're no way different. Naam. al Harith al muhasibi may Allah have mercy on him, also said, a sincere <coughs> individual is one who does not care that he should fall from the hearts of people for the betterment of his own heart. The, look at this, al Harith al muhasibi His name is Muhasibi, bi al mimi we have to place, as some Ali mentions in his Kitab al-Ansab. The reason why he was called Muhasibi, by the way, is because they said he was excessive in accounting himself. Yuhasibu nafsahum kathira. Some Ali saying this. That he was very well known for accounting himself. He used to ask himself every time. And he would say to himself, why have you done this? And they say that Allah combined for him. The amal of a private affairs and his public affairs, affairs were high. They were of high level. And as I said, these people are, ya ikhwati al-kiram, Sufiya. Okay? And it's something that we find, subhanAllah, very common upon a, upon a person whose aqeed is meant to be sound. And who should know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's names and attributes, and iman, and, and sahabas, and qada qadr, and wa'ad wal wa'id, the usul of Ahlul Sunnah. He's in good line with Ahlul Sunnah. But then when you look at him, he doesn't have these things. He doesn't have this tazkiyah to nafs, this purity that's needed, that's missing from this person. May Allah give us it, subhanahu wa ta'ala. He says, As-sadiq huwa alladhi la yubali law kharaja kullu qadrin lahu fi qulub al-khalqi bil ajli salahi qalbihi. That the truthful one, the sincere person, he doesn't care, la yubali, does not care. Law kharaja kullu qadrin lahu fi qulub al-khalaiq. In the hearts of the people, if every respect they had for him goes, they don't respect him anymore. Every respect they had for him, gone. He doesn't care. Min ajli salahi qalbi, if it has to mean that he perfects his own heart. If that means that the cost of people respecting him will go if you have to perfect your own heart, then do that. Don't make the concern the people. Shaykh al-Bani rahimahullah in his kitab, Sifu Salat al-Nabi, when he authored it, and the Muqaddimah, he mentioned that this book I'm going to write is not going to please a lot of people. It isn't going to please a lot of people. A lot of people are going to hate me for it. And he brings lines of poetry, whereas he says that if a, if a person goes to a cave and he boycotts the people, he doesn't even need to mingle with the people, and he goes in the middle of that mountain and that rock and he lives there, there's always people who are going to blame him and say, ah, guess why he left? He's majnoon. He lost his brain. Ah, he's majnoon. Um, you know why Fulan is not married? I think he's got tendency towards men. People will find a way to criticize you. That's something, if you think that won't happen, then you're, you're really not living in the real world. You need to pinch yourself back to reality. Yeah? Because the righteous deed that you did can be turned into an evil, evil deed. Are you with me? I remember a guy who was crying so much in the Kaaba. Is that not good characteristics? The guy was crying so much. Wallahi, he hurt me. I was like, Allahu Akbar. I remember Somali uncle said, Dimbi usubi tirabadana. The sins that he has done, so it must be a lot, man, for him to cry like this. Look at this. Man is crying. He's in the Kaaba. He's crying with so much tears. They found a fault. I looked and I said, SubhanAllah. That is, that's human beings for you. He's saying the sins that this man has done is too much, man. He's blaming him for it. Does that make sense, brothers? Humans will always find a righteous deed that you're doing. They'll find a blame for it. They will find something to say. Allah tells us in the Quran, Adho Musa. They harmed Nabi Allah Musa when he chose not to show his aura in front of them. He didn't want to shower with them. He didn't want them to see his aura. What did they say? He's got illness. That's why he doesn't want to do it with us. Ah. He's got illness. The reason why he doesn't want his aura to be seen. Well, we're, we're not hiding our aura. We're here. Huh? We're here. Fine. What's the problem? Why is he hiding his one for? That's the same statements that the kuffar are using today for the women who are in hijab, niqab. Why is she covering her face? We're not covering our face. Our face is out in the open. Ah. The shaitan that sent revelation to those ones 
are the shaitan that's sending revelation to these ones. Sahab brothers and sisters. So they'll say, why is she wearing the cup for? We're all here in public, our face is open, our face can be seen. Why is she hiding her face? And she's doing a ta'ah. They turn that into what? Into something negative. So people are always going to critique you. They're going to. Rida nas, pleasing the people is ghayatul la tudrak. Trying to attain the happiness of the people, the people's acknowledgement, the people's recognition is muhal. You will die and you will never achieve anything. Salahatim, you won't. The thing that they're praising you for yesterday, they'll criticize you for that now. <laughs> yesterday you're praising me for that characteristic. You're saying this is good characteristic of yours. And today you're saying to me it's bad. Yeah? Where can I, where does, where does it, that's it. So the truth of a person is, you don't worry about the people. Don't give concern to that. لا تبالي بهم that be, let, let that be your last concern. Wallahi sarahatan. Let your concern be yourself. Are they going to be with you the day of judgment? Are they going to help you the day of judgment? Are they going to support you the day of judgment? Or are they going to free themselves from you? They're going to free themselves from you. They're going to run away from you. So why do you care about them now? Don't. Your goal is to please Allah. Is what I'm doing in accordance to what Allah wants? Am I pleasing to Him? Am I following His command? That's what you're looking for. Okay. And one who dislikes that people see the weight of his good deeds. He one doesn't like people seeing the weight of his righteous deeds. Must it see the righteous deeds that he doesn't want? He doesn't want people seeing it. He hides it. He keeps everything private. People don't know what he's doing in his room, in his private room, what he's studying, how he does things. He even hides it from his spouse, his wife. He doesn't know. Some of the Salaf, they were praying Qiyamul Layl for so many years, 50 years, some of them, their wives didn't know. Some of them were fasting every Mondays and Thursdays for 30 years, their wives didn't know. They would hide it from their own wives. Especially some of the Salaf, they took Qawlun, the statement of the Messenger alayhi salatu wasalam, which is, he would give with his right hand so much so that he hides it, that his left hand doesn't know what his right hand gave. So they used to say, if part of my body doesn't know what my other part body, they used to hide it from their own body parts. So, let alone other people. Now, while not disliking that they see his bad deeds, he look at this. If people see his righteous deeds, it will distress him. But if they see his mistakes, it won't distress him as much. They won't. It won't distress him as much. What distresses him much, causes him pain, stress, is people to see his righteous deeds. When people see his mistakes, that's when he's happy. Can, can somebody do that, say that today? Wallahi, it's hard. Wallahi, that's hard. Hey? Since to dislike this is proof that he seeks to gain from them, and that is not among the manners of the sincere, and that is. So he. So here the point is, the reason why he dislikes them seeing his righteous deeds and he likes the fact that they see his mistakes is that he's not looking to increase in the eyes of the people and grow and they see him, they glorify him. That's why he doesn't want. He wants people to see him as a low person. That's it. Ba'if and Weak, low rate graded, nothing, no pima to him. That's what he wants. Mm -hmm. Others have said, if you seek the pleasure of Allah with sincerity, Allah will grant you a mirror through which you may see the wonders of this world and the hereafter. Wallahi, that's the truth. Allah Ta'ala bi sidq If what you're trying to attain is Allah with truthfulness and sincerity, that's what your goal is, that's what you set yourself, then Allah will give you mir'at and tubsir, a mirror. Allah will give you everything, you'll see it through what? Kulla shay, everything. Min ajaib dunya wal akhirah. You'll see all the amazing and the wonders of this world, Allah will bring it to you. That's if you're a person who's sincere. Mm. The pious predecessors have said much regarding sincerity, and we have mentioned only a few short words in order to highlight that which is required of us. I have mentioned several other sayings along with their explanation in the introduction of Sharh al Muhaddab. This is a book. I told you already. Nawawi has a book called Sharh al Muhaddab li Ishaq al Shirazi, which he explained. And he died at Kitab al Bayah. He didn't finish it, he died. 
there is a muqaddima he plays for it and in that muqaddima he talks about etiquettes of this teacher the etiquettes of the student he talks about the etiquettes of a faqih, a jurist and the one who is learning fiqh he talks about their matters which are very important and it's a book as I said and I say many times it's a book that deserves to be studied and taught one of the Imam's greatest books and have mentioned within its matters pertaining to teachers, students, jurists and those who study jurisprudence that any student of knowledge will be of dire need to know then the author says rahimahullah ta'ala faslun fil i'rad an a'rad ad-dunya wa yanbaghi an la yaqsid bihi tawassulan ila a'rad min a'rad ad-dunya min mal aw riyasatin aw wajahatin aw irtifa'in ala aqranihi aw thana'in 'inda an-nas aw sarf wujuh an-nas ilayhi aw nahwi dhalik wa la yashin al-muqri' iqra'ahu bi tab'i fi rifqi yahsul lahu min ba'd man yaqra'u alayhi سواء كان الرفق مالا أو خدمة وإن قل ولو كان على صورة الهدية التي لولا قراءته عليه لما أهداها إليه قال الله تعالى ومن كان يريد حرث الدنيا نؤته منا وما له في الآخرة من نصيب وقال تعالى من كان يريد العاجلة عجلنا له فيها ما نشاء لمن نريد <تصفيق> الآية وعن أبي هريرة رضي الله عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من تعلم علما مما يبتغى به وجه الله تعالى لا يتعلمه إلا ليصيب به عرضا من الدنيا لم يجد عرف الجنة يوم القيامة رواه أبو داود بإسناد صحيح ومثله أحديث كثيرة وعن أنس وحذيفة وكعب بن مالك رضي الله عنهم أن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال من طلب العلم ليماري به سفهاء أو يكاتر به العلماء أو يصرف به وجوه الناس إليه فليتبوى مقعده من النار رواه الترمذي من رواية كعب بن, م... كعب بن مالك وقال أدخله الله النار فصل في محظورات النية التعليم وليحذر كل الحذر من قصده التكثير بكثرة المشتغلين عليه والمختلفين إليه وليحذر من كراء من كراهية قراءة أصحابه على غيره ممن ينتفع به وهذه مصيبة وهذه مصيبة يبتلى بها بعض المعلمين الجاهلين وهي دلالة بينة من صاحبها على سوء نيته وفساد طويته بل هي حجة قاطعة على عدم إرادته بتعليمه وجه الله تعالى الكريم فإنه لو أراد الله تعالى بتعليمه لما كري ذلك بل قال لنفسي أنا أردت الطاعة بتعليمه وقد حصلت وهو, قصد وهو قصد بقراءته على غيري وهو قصد بقراءته على غير زيادة علم فلا عتب عليه وقد روينا في مسند الإمام المجمع على حفظه وإمامته أبي محمد الدارمي رحمه الله تعالى عن علي بن أبي طالب رضي الله عنه أنه قال يا حملة العلم اعملوا به فإنما العلم مئم فإنما العلم فإنما العالم من عمل بما علم ووافق علمه ووافق علمه عمله وسيكون أقوام يحملون العلم لا يجاوز تراقيهم يخالف عملهم يخالف عملهم علمهم يخالف علمهم في غزل علمهم 